Hello everyone, I'm Nochin Deluxe, this is another League of Legends commentary, and before we get into today's gameplay, I just want to give a little update. So as you know, I usually play uh, ranked on my YouTube channel. Lately, this has been my ranked experience. Um, I had two games in a row where I had an AFK in my game. Coincidentally, both of them were a Trindamir top, and they were both against a Darius top, and they lost their lane 1v1 and then Rage Quit. So I had that happen two games in a row. It wasn't even the same guy. It was actually two different Trindomirs that did this. Uh, Rage Quit, one AFK, so of course we lose the 4v5. Um, I actually got demoted a division because of those two lost games, uh, which to me just doesn't seem fair at all. Like, I get it if we have to lose some LP for someone quitting or whatever, but I don't see how Riot sees that it's fair that I get demoted a division because of something that has nothing to do with my gameplay. So that was really demoralizing. I was really frustrated with that. I took a... a a break from ranked play. I messed around in some normals. I did some Nocturne mid uh, for you guys. I had a blast doing that, so hopefully you liked that video. Um, so today, I was like, you know what? I'm going to come back. I'm going to do the ranked play again today. So I get in the game. Um, I'm starting blue side as Nocturne, and I have this Nasus who is doing nothing but, like, cursing at me because I'm asking him not to leash. Like, I just said, hey, don't you don't need a leash. I'd rather get you, to, you, know, get you to lane early. He starts, like, cursing me out, telling me to shut up, and using all kinds of derogatory and racist uh, names for me for no reason. Then he uh, proceeds to spam his dance emote in front of my blue buff. While he's doing that, uh, the enemy jungler and top laner use the blast cone to jump over and invade us while he's spamming his emotes, and they kill him. And I got out safely, but I had to burn flash for it. Um, so that it was a Jarvan 4 and a Mundo. The Jarvan 4 ends up off of that kill going 11-0 in the game. Um, meanwhile, we have a Cassidy in mid who died at one minute to a Talon 1v1 and then proceeds to feed the entire game on Talon, or uh, on Cassidy, feeds the Talon. So the Talon is now 11-0 as well. So that game was just a complete loss, all because, like, I'm trying to chat and just try to set up a play and some guy wants to spam emotes and die and feed. So that was an instant loss, and of course nobody wants to surrender that. We're, we were literally just sitting there farming super minions under the tower for like 20 minutes. Um, and then, so after that I was like, okay, you know what, I'm going to venture in one more game for ranked. Let's try it one more time. I get in there, I decide, you know what, I'm not going to ban Yi this time. Um, I feel like I would rather ban like a Shaco or something. So I put the, the ban on Shaco, and of course, enemy team locks in Yi for his pick because nobody else bans it. Um, and then... Somebody on our team picks the wrong champion, accidentally picks Teemo, and then starts raging in chat saying, I don't know how to play Teemo. I actually accidentally picked the wrong champ. What do I do? So I dodged that game. So out of the last four games I've tried to play in ranked, it's just been a disaster. And honestly, uh, I just can't sustain making videos for you guys every day in ranked if that's what ranked is. Like, if that's what Riot is allowing ranked to be, it's just a sad state of affairs. We got people playing champs like, why are you even playing a Cassidy in mid in season eight? That makes no sense. And then obviously he had no clue what he was doing because he just fed the entire game, you know. And then we had a Vayne bot like, who's playing Vayne in season eight too? You know, it's just like people have no clue what champs are good. And then when they pick these off picks, they have no clue what they're doing and they just feed. People are trolling. People are just spamming emotes. People are like cursing me out. Like, why? It's just like, why am I playing this game? You know, it just makes no sense. So. I'm going to go play some normals. I'm going to go play some more uh, Nocturne. I think I'm going to maybe try a Nocturne top video next. Um, you know, see how that goes. It's just way more fun when there's just, you know, I feel like people are a lot more chill in normals. And, uh, you know, I don't know. It might affect my views, the fact that I'm not playing ranked gameplay. But at this point, I don't really care. I really need a, a break from ranked. It's just such a toxic environment. And the league community is just, I don't know, man. They're just, like, mean-spirited people that are just... I don't know. They're just horrible human beings sometimes, you know? And they're not all like that, and hopefully you guys see that I try not to be that way. But, uh, man, I just need a break from rank. So I'm going to go play some uh, Bruiser Nocturne Top. I hope you guys enjoy that. I'll probably return to rank because I'll get the competitive itch again. But uh, until then, I just want to let kind of share my heart with you guys, let you know like what's been going on, why I've been frustrated. I want to make sure I get content out for you guys uh, again and again. But I don't want it to be bad content. And I don't want it to be content where I'm raging at people and flaming people and, and arguing with people all game. So I uh, hope you guys understand that. For the next couple of videos, I might just be uh, messing around with stuff. If you have uh, like other ideas for you know ways that I can play Nocturne, maybe as an ADC or a top lane or whatever, or even just other champs in general, I am all ears. I will try whatever you guys want me to try. Um, I really have fun playing new champions and new lanes, so that's something I'm willing to do as well. Uh, but until then, I'm going to go try to do this Nocturne uh, top bruiser build I've been thinking about, and hopefully you guys enjoy that video. Thanks for listening, and uh, I'll see you in-game. 
All right, so we're up against a Darius top, which doesn't sound too fun, honestly. <laughs> I'm going to start uh, Corrupting Potion. I feel like that's a good start. Uh, I don't really want to have to leash for this guy. I guess that'll be okay if I do. So I'm going to start Corrupting Potion. I feel like that's a good start for a top lane. Uh, remember that if I pop this and I auto-attack him with my Hail of Blades, then uh, it'll do some burn damage on him. So the, the goal with this build, if you want to see my runes, you can look at the beginning of the video. I have them uh, on the screen as I'm talking, but a uh, quick overview is I'm doing Hail of Blades as my uh, Keystone Domination, then I'm taking Resolve with Overgrowth and uh, Conditioning. So the idea with Bruiser Nocturne, which is essentially what I'm going to be going, is uh, I'm going to be building uh, Bruiser all Bruiser items. So my core is going to be basically Trinity Force, and then Sterax, and then Titanic Hydra. That's basically what I'm going for. Um... And then what it's going to do is it's it's not so much a burst build, it's more of a sustained damage build. So the point is I want to like survive fights longer and be able to keep auto-attacking, especially with my Hail of Blades. So um, we'll see how it works out. I'm probably going to actually skip the Dust Blade altogether. So that'll be that'll be interesting. I really do like no damage to this thing. Like That's about all you're getting, guy. So this guy has Conqueror. So after four seconds of combat, content, uh, combat, his first attack uh, will grant me grant him ten attack damage for three seconds and converts twenty percent to true damage. Conquer is pretty popular on on uh, top laners. I probably could have could have gone the same thing actually. So he's pushing into me. That's fine. I'm not really looking to like fight with him early. That's a good trade. Like even though it was one hit. Once I get my spell block too, like I can start blocking his his Q and then go in for a couple hits with my corruption po corrupting potion. So I should be able to win those trades. That was bad. I'm gonna level my W second, just so I can block uh, like pull his pull and his Q. Okay. So he has one CS more than me. I did, I should have gotten more CS there. So I'm actually just going to fight him here. Remember, I have Ignite. So he can't he can't really just, like, win these fights automatically. I don't want to fight him if he's a level above me, though. Oh, what? Just being really cautious. I don't want to give him first blood, because I think this matchup is going to get a lot harder for me. I'm gonna all in her. Should be a kill. Got him. Yeah, so I feel like my early trades are super powerful with Corrupting Potion. I'm not gonna get greedy for this, I'm just gonna go back. Um, he didn't respect the Ignite there. Oh, that froze in a really bad spot. That's okay. He'll, he'll push back to me anyway. So I think actually here, uh, I'm just gonna get... What do I want here? Long sword, yeah, this looks good. And um, I'll get a ward too in case I need it. So that's really good for us. We got the first blood out of that. And I'm ahead in CS now. I'm not CSing the greatest right now, but so it's going to be really hard to fight him once he gets uh, items. But if I can keep killing them, that'd be really great. Eventually, I'll just want to roam down to the the Zed once I get my ult. So that's what we're looking for here. I don't know if we've seen the Gragas yet. Looks like we've laid eyes on him. Yeah, this is freezing in front of him. This is really bad for me. I'm actually going to put my ward back here. And then I'll put use my yellow trinket uh, to ward this. So he's uh, he just got a bunch of minions there. So I don't want to be careful about his level 5 coming up. Gonna let this. This is actually kind of slow pushing to me, so I'm just gonna let him push into me. I'm not expecting much help from Trindemir. I mean, because he's a Trindemir. I, re I really just want him to farm, honestly. Like, I don't, I don't really want him to help. Like, if you're gonna play Trindemir jungle, I'd rather have you do what Trindemir does. Okay. Well, that's what Trindemir jungle does, I guess. <laughs> he executed. That's all right, man. We got you. That's really embarrassing as a jungler. 
So he's he's got this in a bad spot right now. I'm a level above him. I have my Crepting Potion. Ignite is not up. Uh, it's coming up in a minute 24. What did he buy, by the way? Okay, he got a Mana Crystal. Interesting. Is it good? I kind of just want to farm until my Ignite's up and then just try to fight him again, I think. I could go in for a trade here. Maybe. Keeps trying to poke me. And missing. I do want to get this cannon, though. So my Hail of Blades is up right now. Ooh, that's not good. This is great. This is like freezing right in front of me. Halo Blades is so good, man. Look at that trade. Just get demolished, bro. Get demolished. He's not even closing these trades, especially when I'm fearing him like that. I think I'm going to max my fear a second, just so I can uh, have him CC'd longer. That guy just got absolutely crushed in this trade. I'm just going to keep poking him here. My Q actually does pretty nice poke damage. I'm going to wait until these are low, and then I'll Umber Blades it. Ugh. So that CS that we kind of, our CS deficit, we're kind of making up now that we're pushing him in. I'm um, coming. Just cut him out, cut him out. Give me vision. I have no flash. unfortunate that he got out from that. Did he get the red or no he didn't get the red okay. So the bad part of this is now uh, this guy's just been farming and I, I'm out of mana. I lost my lane pressure there. Yeah watch it. He's coming he's coming. Okay. I think he's out. Well, I just used all my mana to help this guy, so that's unfortunate. I think I'm just going to go back. Oh, wait. He's okay. The Darius is there, so I'm just going to go push this out then. I thought Darius was just going to come back to farming. I can at least get the Umber Blades on this. Try to push this in real quick. They might just come up here and try to gank me. I'm not sure. Okay, Zed's mid, so that's good. The Darius maybe just went back. I don't know. I don't know if he's running the lane or... Okay, he's here. So he's level 6. It's going to be... A lot harder to fight him. Level 6. I'm just going to push that like that. And I'm going to go back. So I'm going to rush Triforce here. Um, I think I think the Phage will be good just so I can stick to him and also just have a little more health. And then um, let's get Boots too. And let's get this and this. And we'll get another Ward. Zed's popping off. 3-0. It's really a shame I had to waste my ult here, because I wanted to go down and try to ult the Zed. An enemy has been slain. This guy's just demolishing mid. All right, this guy still has no items. And I'm doubling him up on CS. He might try to, the Zed might try to run up here and gank. Now this guy's just gonna go and like take her farm. Okay, he's not. Yeah, I don't I don't want to push up here because I don't know where the Zed is. I think the Zed probably just went back because he just got tower gold. I'm gonna ward this just to be sure. This guy's definitely scared of me. I don't mind getting free farm on Nocturne. Oh, except I'm not actually hitting the farm. If we can get eyes on the Zed, that would be awesome. I have my ult. Could just ult my own lane here.
Sky's playing so so scared now. Surprised he hasn't tried to just walk up and get a get a pull on Mina. Alright, I'm coming mid. Got him. Easy roam there. How's our bot lane doing? Uh, we're three and zero. Nice. Okay, so we can we can salvage mid. I think. I don't think that's so bad. Let's get um, get the stinger and let's just get some of these. Nice. Okay. Yeah. So we're in this. Lux just has to chill out. Build a build a zonius. This guy's four, four, oh, basically. Well, four and one now. Watch it. Getting ganked, bro. He's gonna die for the turret. Oh! I think at that point, I would have rather just had him die for the turret. Oh, the Darius is down there. Okay, I'm gonna hard push this then. Good. Mid got, uh, bot got their tower. I'm gonna go and try to get my tower. If Darius comes up here, I'll probably just kill him. Oh, he went that way. I thought he was going to try to, like, gank me or something. Gonna keep this pushed in. I could just spell block here. Not a big deal. Alright, Gragas is bot, so I can, I can pressure this guy. Actually, gonna go and steal his jungle. Actually, I should just move down here. I don't. I don't know vault though, so I'm just gonna go and take his jungle. I think. He has no jungle. Come on! He must have just done that entire blue side. All right. In that case, I'm just gonna pop this. This guy. It's coming. I have my. I mean my uh, ignite here. He's trying to get the stacks, but he can't get them. Bye! Like, I love Hail Blades for that, man. Like, I love that you can just own people that, like, in those trades. He was trying to get his Conqueror going. And then ult me. But my Hail Blades kind of made short work of him. Let's see if I can hit this. If I can get this tower, that'd be really helpful. Okay, Gragas is here. I can kill this guy unless he has help. Oh, the Zed's here too. I'm gonna try to kill the Gragas. Oh, I don't have enough mana. If I had enough mana for my E, the Gragas would have been dead, I think. I could have ulted him there maybe, but... Come on guys, you can, you got this. Get me that sweet assist. Come on, get in there, man. This is a good roam by my team. It's a shame that they got here kind of late, but... So close to this, I could get that. I'll just wait for the gold. Alright, my ult is up, so I'm gonna wanna go and roam and probably just help take other other lanes at this point. So I'm gonna go right into Sterics from this. I'm gonna come, I'm coming, I'm coming. I have my ult. Come on, come on. Okay. I just kill this Darius again, honestly. What does he have? Yeah, he only has a phage. Alright, I'm gonna just go protect my tower then, because he's right here. Oh, that was a little late on the block. I thought he was gonna pull after that. I'm just gonna go do Krugs actually while he's doing that.
I always want to spend my time doing something useful, you know? Like, if I'm not ulting or not roaming or whatever, I need to take some kind of farm. And I don't want to, like, put this guy under his tower. Alright, so he's just going to push in. I'll just instantly counter push this. Might be getting ganked again, maybe? No? I better watch out. Okay, they're all bot. Remember, Darius has TP, so he might try to TP there. Did he? Is that is he down there? Where is he? Oh no, he's here. Man, I wish I could go down there and roam. This is the problem with top lane nocturne is like I don't have access to the bottom side of the map, you know. But I'm also keeping Darius locked up here too, which is good. Just need my team to win, you know, without me. Once we get this tower down, I'll just I'll be running around the map. I just try, I'm trying really hard to get the tower down. See if the crab's up. Are we winning this? Looks like we're winning this. Nice. Get some mana back from this thing. And I'm just going to push out mid. Okay, we have mid tower down, so I'm just going to go back top. This is all I gotta do is keep rotating back and forth between objectives, grab jungle camps in between. Zed's mid. Uh, this guy's probably going to ward this right now. Yep, there he is. So I just lost some minions under tower, but I got the crab and mid farm for that. So she, maybe I should have taken TP, although I feel like the ignite really got me, you know, helped with his early kills. But with TP, I could TP bot and then um, help them out, and then I can actually cha help ch chase people down with my ult too, you know? Okay, it's Ed's here. He's just running at me. Yeah, bring it, bro. Let's block that, easy. Somebody wants to come up here. This is, I feel like this is a pretty easy kill. Yo, someone just come up here. Like, the whole t I think the whole team's gonna come. You just popped a ghost blade, is that Zed? Coming. Where'd that guy go? Where'd he go? Oh, there yeah, he went, man, okay. This guy's so afraid of me, look at this. I really want to get top lane down. Okay, I gotta go roam. Just gonna push this in and go down there. Zed's going off, man. Can I help this? Okay, they all died. Now they're all probably gonna come to me. Afraid of the dark. They're all chasing me. Are they seriously all just going to chase me? Alright, so they're pushing. I need to go buy 2,000 gold. The problem is I can't, I can't really just leave top lane. Because uh, Darius pushes too hard. Lux is 0 and 4. That's a big, big issue. All right, so he's gonna try and get pressure on this. I'm just gonna ult this, I think. See if I can kill him here. Just gonna lay the uh, quick ignite down. Go fear him. Easy. Like, this guy can't bite me. I just annihilate. So if, maybe I can get top tower off of this. Come on, team. Just need you to stay in this, man. I just gotta get this tower. Like, gotta get the tower down. I think they're gonna come gank me. 
I think I'm getting ganked. I'm just gonna leave. Yeah, they all came up here. Like I could, I could kill the Zed. I'm a level above him now too. I wonder if Pike is still here. I feel, I have a feeling like Pike is just sitting here, honestly. Why do I feel? I feel like they're just... Yep, I knew it! I knew it! Did I call it or what? Let's go kill this guy. See ya! And the Zed's here too! They're all here, guys! Pulling that top lane pressure! Bring it, boys! Nice! That was good. This is the Bruiser Binocular. Oh, no! Uh... Three top. <laughs> like, hopefully they'll get this. Pulling that top lane pressure. Did you see that? They sent everyone for me. That was amazing. And I still managed to kill one. Alright, just, she just needs to clear this wave. Just clear the wave. Just clear. Wave, Lux. And don't give this guy a kill, please. I think they got him. Nice. Good job. Good job. Uh, I think I'm just going to wait for my Sterics here. It's 25 gold. And then uh, this one's next. If we get these two towers, that'd be really good. Actually, the Winions might get this. Going to get a Ward 2, actually. Great. So I think they're going to get top for this. Really good. Coming mid. I'm, I'm gonna kind of move bot here because I knew they're gonna get ganked by the Zed. Let's see if I can help this guy. This guy just uses shadows, so I, I might be able to kill him here. Hail of Blades! Yeah, he can't do anything there, especially if I spell block him. Just sit there and auto attack him for days. I didn't even have to use Ignite or anything on that. That was pretty good. Hail of Blades. Man, Hail of Blades is good, guys. I like it on Nocturne a lot, actually. I think this guy should be a kill. Nope. What the? Oh, I blocked it. Blocked it. Oh, man, we're all dead. All dead. Oh, no, they're all here. My bad. So we seem like we had so much pressure there. You see how long I last, though? Like, Bruiser Nocturne, baby. All right, so after this, I think I'm going to go Titanic Hydra. I think that's the right next play here. We'll do that. I don't think I need the Corrupting Potion anymore, honestly. I think I'd rather just get another Long Sword here. It's a pretty close game, 22 to 21. Our Lux is 0 and 6. But um, <laughs> I just need her to finish an item, like... She should be building a Zonia's, not a not a Ludens or whatever she's trying here. I'm coming. Coming with alt. Oh, don't die. Kill him, kill him. Nice. Keep fighting, keep fighting, keep fighting. I'm looking for the Zed here. Got him. Igniting the, uh, what the was Batman? <laughs> come on, come on, keep going, keep going, keep going. Got fear? Nice. Yo, right here. Right here, right here, right here. Easy Baron. We're carrying, boys! Yo, yo, back out, back out. <laughs> like, let someone else tank, dude. Whatever, we're gonna get it. Alright. I'm gonna go push top. Good play. I'm so hard to kill, man. 
I like that. I like what I like about this build is I can just run into the middle of five of them and like and still manage to get like a kill or two. So different from like Assassin Nocturne, you know. So I'm a little low on mana here, and uh, I think I'm just gonna go back right now. They're gonna go bot and clear that. I think I'll get a team at here, and can we? Oh, we can afford that. Let's do it. So I'm gonna split top, I think, and then my ult will be up. So I don't think this guy can kill me, honestly. He's level 14, I'm level 15. He does have lethality and stuff, but I don't know. We'll see. Oh, they need. They might need help. Let's see. I'll push this out. And maybe go mid. I think the Zed's probably gonna go. Yeah, there he is. Gonna go mid to help. I'm coming. The Trinity is getting chased by the Zed too. Um, I need vision on somebody. Give me somebody. Okay, the Zed's behind him. Okay. Uh, just push mid in. What? Are we, are we still fighting? Okay. If we can win this fight, I think this might be game. That I'm just gonna be on. I'm just gonna get on the structures here. So that I think we can win off this. Okay. Top lane Nocturne boys. I didn't even get my full build, but whatever. That was good, man. I feel like Nocturne so straight strong as a laner like early game with corrupting potion and hail blades and stuff. It's good stuff, man. Thanks for watching, guys. Thanks for listening to me uh, rant in the beginning of the video, too. I'll see you next time.